what is up guys George right here and today I'm actually showing you how to change the uh, Apple logo inside the IPSWs you know that uh, white Apple logo that appears when you start your phone yeah that thing can be changed and um, it's actually a very uh, easy task if you're um, I don't know if you're familiar with uh, CLI applications and with Snowbreeze if you're running on older firmwares. Now Snowbreeze is a a graphical user interface for Xpound created in Visual Basic by IH Snow in 2013 and it's actually compatible with a very uh, big range of iOS versions starting from 3.1.3 and um, um, it's also compatible with 6.0.x and 6.1.3 being the latest because uh, on iOS 7.x things have changed. Great, now uh, the application is very simple, we've talked about this application in my other videos, uh, you can check that video to see to see uh, in-depth tutorial and uh, walk around in this program. You basically click next, browse an IPSW, select the correct IPSW, but it's not compatible with a newer IPSWs, and you click and you modify whatever you want into it. Also, you can uh, actually use a CLI because this application also uses the same CLI application we are, we are going to talk about. It's IMH tool. I think the IMH tool was created by WinOCM. I don't I don't know, but I think I uh, I saw such tool on her um, on her GitHub or it was this one. I don't remember, but I I know she has something like this in her um, um, builds on GitHub, but uh, leave it away. We're going to use IMH tool. IMH tool is also embedded in this program right here, and um, because we can also extract it if you want, but yeah, it's a corrupted archive. And using this and the proper keys, we're going to modify the uh, standard Apple logo with this one from here. But you can, of course, use whatever you want. Uh, this, uh, please let me tell you what the um, Apple logo is for the moment. So, uh, Apple logo is always located in far more all flash, all flash production, and Apple logo in the processor target, the uh, whatever. And it's an IMG3 file, IMG3 being a container, a secure container, and it's basically just a PNG file, but the IMG3 format adds that um, IV and key formats to it so it gets secured and impossible to be modified unless you have the correct uh, keys like those ones. What the heck, those are for 3.1, but this is this is 7.1.1. Just a second, guys. I think I have the wrong page in front of my eyes. Does it surprise you? And uh, by the way, I'm going to get the uh, Apple logo file right here. I'm going to replace it. Drop it right here and Control R, CMD. I'm gonna CD into this uh, folder right here, and I'm gonna write Image Tool. Test it. Okay. And this is how it works. This application. It has extract source IMG2 or IMG3. IMG2 is the format for older devices, like the first generation of iPhone and so so on with the first builds of iOS and the tree is the actual format and uh, destination PNG, IV and key, proper IV and keys and also inject from source PNG to destination IMG2 or 3 and a template, you need a template which is the original file and IV and keys, great. So let's just extract first the, um, the thing, gonna write extract, copy the name of this thing up here write uh, dest.png from destination and we need IV and key. I'm gonna go here to 7.1.2 and Apple logo, IV is the first, you don't need to write IV or something, just drop the key, leave a space, take the IS key and drop it right here after that. And you click enter and it's gray scale, PNG uh, 237, great. And we should have a file named dest, which is the actual Apple logo, you can see it, it's the actual logo that starts. I'm gonna delete, remove whatever you want, this thing right here, this is my logo. 
And in order to inject it, I'm gonna I'm gonna simply copy this file right here. I'm gonna add a one because I'm gonna use it as a template, okay? And um, I'm going to write again. Just a second. Uh, I'm gonna write image tool inject and the source will be the file file.png and uh, the uh, destination will be also the img3 file right here uh, we need to copy down this little thing right here because it it's the template file and we need to drop the keys in my case it's iv key for apple logo and the is key drop okay and this is basically it now the uh the actual file got modified i can delete the template right now and yeah and this is basically it the apple logo gets uh inserted into the uh, ipsw where oh fuck how to get it from here you replace it from from there to here and you actually have to wait a little bit because the the whole archive gets decompressed into a temporary location and after that we packed again with the new file and due to that one gigabit and half file it will literally take a little bit but this is actually the idea you got it i'm not going to do it now i'm gonna make another video in which i'm gonna present my logo alongside with any other things that i'm going to test for example the tethered jailbreak but i have to tell you that uh this won't work directly from the ipsw original file you have to have an exploit you have to exploit the uh the phone itself uh for older devices and for a4 devices for example the iphone 4 or the ipod first uh first <laughs> fuck uh, fourth generation, I think you can use a uh, lime rain exploit and um, You can uh, probably use red snow. I don't think I don't know uh, extras Even more uh, Preferences boot logo and you select the uh, PNG file you want uh, Whatever and you can use it for this thing just bought tethered so it only works for tethered boots uh, it doesn't work to simply modify the IPSW original and because it will fail the hash and yeah, you got it. But um, actually on the Snowbreeze for older versions it works because uh, Snowbreeze will modify and will actually patch the whole IPSW and will actually use you will actually use a pwned DF DFU mode if you want to uh, run that thing up. Also, it works if you have jailbreak. You can uh, find CD at Wix to actually modify the um, that Apple logo. If you want such tutorial about CD and modifying the Apple logo, you can drop me a line on the comment section down below. And I'm going to make such video in a few days, probably, or a day or something like that. If there are many persons, uh, people everywhere asking for that. That's it. The tool is in the description if you want it, if you need it, and if you want to uh, test a little bit. Also, if you have an older device, older than iPhone 4 and 3G, 3GS, something like that, it's it's that simple because you can run um, iOS 6.x and it's compatible with Snowbreeze. You don't have to mess with uh, custom-made firmwares uh, created by uh, created by yourself. This uh, application creates everything um, by itself. So. Yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope it uh, helped you a lot. Uh, till the next time, uh, what I can say, just peace out. Goodbye.